I prefer if you didn't fly the, any drone you got over our property. Wash your reasons. mouth out. I'm going to respectfully <laughs> ask you to do that. I know once you've got it up in the air, it's going to go where your fingers take it, but... Oh no, we're fine, mate. This, we're this bit's prop, prop to freight. Prop, prop to starts just at the front. What are you? Are you asking us to do anything? Um, yeah, I would. I would mind you off this prop property. DJ audits. How come you've just said my name? Uh, we've expected you to be coming, so pleased to meet you. How you yeah. doing? Do you want a keyring? <laughs> I don't need a keyring at a minute, but... Anybody that says DJ Audits, I offer them a keyring. And you're, you're reaching your arm out, so I say that you do want one, yeah? <laughs> there you go, my friend. It's a pleasure. So look, guys... Uh, yeah, if first... you want PJ... Do you know PJ, don't you? No, no, no. No, I don't. Oh, PJ does a similar thing to me. All right. Um, if you want PJ to move his car just off your land... If you want... Uh, I, so, you, you, know the, you know the rules. I know you do. I know you do, so... Get your camera <laughs> rolling, PJ. We've got a, got a subscriber here. The subscriber? Yeah, I've seen some of your work. So private property you know you can't come on and film hot public highway you're allowed to do what you want aren't you um you'll get some great shots of this place i'm sure because it's pretty impressive um yeah. but please i just ask you you know re respect we've got as soon as you come on here i've got duty care for your safety yes where's because, where's where's the weed grown um so our farm is right down a private road so i'm afraid you won't get to that because it's quite quite the way down a private road how far now Oh, I don't know what sort of drone is you've got now high, but it's, it's a good way down. Is it? Is it where all those greenhouses are over there? Uh, well, I'll, on I'll the let, map. I'll let you work that one out. <laughs> yeah, there's masses and masses and masses of greenhouses. There is. Yeah, I mean, if, from the public highway, guys, you probably will get some half decent footage. Um, I'd rather not get into calling the police and all that. I don't want to waste their time or yours, guys. You know. Do you want to move over a little bit? Get your camera on. Is this all electric? This is a hybrid. Is it an hybrid? Yeah. yeah. I didn't get what. Is it a Volvo? No, yeah, it's a BMW. This one. Woo! So, uh, um, I'm going to have to put someone out here just to make sure you're on, you're on private, not on private property. Yeah. Um, please don't take that disrespectfully. Are you involved with security? Are you? Um, I'm, I'm involved in this place, but I know yeah. your stuff's going to go shut online. So I'm not going to give you. You don't want to tell us your position. No, I'm not going to do that. Okay. Okay. All right. Well. You say you haven't met PJ, you've not seen PJ, PJ's videos I before. Haven't. But you are going to look him up, aren't you? I will do now. <laughs> and I wonder what camera you use, and I thought it was on smoke pocket. Yeah, yeah, do you like it? Yeah, Good, like isn't it? I got one myself. Have you ever seen one of these little babies? No. This is a 360 camera. Okay. So you can decide in your editing software which frame you want to use. And that is a DJI uh, Action 2. Yeah, I've seen one of those. I've seen one of those. Right, safe place to park. There is a little, there's a little lay-by over there. Right. And there is a little lay-by just over there. But in this road is, is, is where the private property starts. Um, is that all right, guys? Yeah. No. Um, oh, go on. <laughs> <laughs> it's your vehicle. your vehicle. Yeah, no, I'll move it, mate. Thank you very much. All right. All right, then. Okay. Right, well, we'll see you in a bit, then. You've got a good day for it. Yeah. Um, no, I prefer if you didn't fly the, any drone you got over our property. Wash your reason. mouth out. I'm going to respectfully <laughs> ask you to do that. I know once you've got it up in the air, it's going to go where your fingers take it, but... Yeah. Obviously, do you know of our drones? They've got a lovely zoom camera, haven't they? And we can zoom right in. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, and glass, it's it's quite useful when you've got glass. And greenhouses are, are made of... Is your greenhouse made of glass? Oh, you're asking me technical information. I what? don't know. That's no, not technical. Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm guessing they are, yeah. Yeah, yeah is yeah. it, it see-through? Uh, Oh, well, it should be. It's got to collect the sunlight for the plants. Yeah, I don't know. Yeah, the chlorophyll. It's like photosynthesis, isn't it? Right, right. They require a lot of uh, yeah. light and heat, these plants. So we're hoping with the, the extra zoom camera that we've got on our you drone... Get some good footage. Yeah, and we won't need to get that close, okay. really. So, okay. All right, well, I think we've got a gentleman's agreement. Yeah, yeah. We're certainly not going to put any of your operation in danger. Yeah, OK. And if it did fall, you know how, how heavy they are. Have you, do you want to see it? Go on in quickly. Yeah. But you know why we're here? Any free samples? <laughs> <laughs> so it's a non psychoactive variety, I'm afraid. Oh, it's a what, eh? <laughs> Look, you, you feel the weight of that. Oh, is it the DJI one? Yeah, you feel yeah, the weight yeah. of it. No, we've got one on top. Oh, have you? There's yeah. nothing, is it? It's 249 grams. It's like a bird. DJ, Hello, my DJ, friend! DJ. 
Are you expecting us, are you? No, no, we're, we're not. We're, we're not older seniors, so. Do you want a key ring? How are we doing? Good? Yeah, do you, want, do you want a key ring? Oh, yeah, go on. Do you both want one? Yeah, please. There you go, I've got two there, mate. Yeah, you subscribers, are you? Yeah, we were just wondering if we were literally looking at your page a minute Yeah, well, one of the videos that we did recently, now this place was mentioned, so we had to come. Oh, nice one, you're on Facebook. Yeah. Thank you, thanks for watching, guys. Hey, you can get a tour of this place. What, you're going to give us a tour? I can't. Well, you could probably get a tour if you want. What, today? That would be brilliant. We're going to be around for 20 minutes, so just see what you can do. Uh, this gentleman's asked if we don't go any further. Me, DJ. These guys might be able to get us a tour. All right. You regret saying it now, now, no, big boss man. You, 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 you have to, you have to book a tour. Have to yeah, yeah, we're fine. Thanks yeah, for your yeah. time, my friend. Thanks for your time. Yeah. What was? Okay. Okay. What? What do you do here? We uh, we work for the season. Is it soil? Yeah, soil and uh, sugar beet, yeah. Oh, you're on the sugar beet side? Yeah. yeah. Oh, brilliant. So where does that come from? Uh, it's all local local farms. farms, basically. Oh, yeah. that's brilliant. They support local farms. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, this is only a, a plant that processes the sugar beet. Right, okay. They don't grow the sugar beet here. So when the sugar beet gets delivered then, what does it look like? Uh, Furnace. Yeah, just a root, yeah. We are going to have to move off of this area. Though. Oh, are you? Yeah. So. so what about that tour then? Are you going to do out? You, if you go into, a, I can go into reception, you can ask. You can, there is visitation, but you have to go through the proper channels to do it. I, I can't authorise anything like that. Okay. Have you actually got a, a British sugar soil reception down there? This main factory. Because the gentleman before you says he doesn't really want this going on. But if yeah. you then come along and say, we can go to reception, then We'll take your word for it. Well, obviously, it's, right, so it's, it's public to go up there. So I'm going to say the most recent conversation mentioning a possibility of a tour trumps what the previous guy said, and we'll go on. So is this actually a public footpath? There is pedestrian crossings there, so I guess so. But I, I, I can't tell you whether you would be allowed or not, but I can't see you're not on. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? But you've dangled a carrot as a possible tour waiting, haven't there? If you go to reception, yes. Then it's that's not just a carrot, it's a bunch of carrots, that one. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm pretty sure you can, you can, there's so many, like if you go in and lock the sign in as a visitor, they'll either allow you to have a look around certain things or not, but it's, it's by no means. So we can ask, can't we? Can, it's yeah, not guaranteed. I don't, I don't hold them, but I know that you can have, growers have tours all the time. So. Right, okay. Are interested in it, we're very, very interested in this place yeah we're going to dedicate a couple of hours to it so <laughs> but, um, yeah I'd like to say I don't do the tour so I wouldn't know but yeah if you go to reception and ask them it's so, like to say they'll ask you to leave site if it's an issue. well I mean I don't know about you but DJ and myself have certainly been told to bugger off before now don't we? A few well, from, times. From here, or are you before the place? Yeah, oh yeah, yeah. You've watched places. the videos, you know. Oh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, but I don't see anything wrong with what you're doing, so you, you're respectful and you respect the grounds. So. Have you ever been very close to the cannabis greenhouses? No, I have nothing to do with that. Do they not let you near it? That is really secure. That's what will they do if me and PJ take our drones near it? I don't know. Where is the nearest place on the road we can get? to fly the drones over it. I don't actually know. Over the back, I believe. There's something over the back there. Would you like to see us try on the video that we publish? No! <laughs> he can't say anything. He can't say anything. Can't say anything. But no. It'll be good fun to He don't want to incriminate himself, does he? And get himself into trouble. We won't get you, Reg, on. Yeah, please put that out. I appreciate that. Oh, yeah. no, we don't. He won't, I might. I'd love to know more <laughs> about what you do with soil. Yeah, I, I test soil basically, so uh, we do a lot of uh, testing for growers and farmers and we uh, basically based on the uh, test results and the pH of the field, then they'll potentially buy Limex from us. Oh right, okay. So and obviously that will improve the yield of crops. So um, you're like quality control for the, the soil before it gets used? I guess you could call it that. And do you drive plant? Do you actually go onto the farms and test the soil? Yes. Right. 
So any of your suppliers, they have to have their soil tested by you before they can be a supplier. They don't have, they don't have to, but they, the service that they use is like, if they do it, then they'll be able to see how uh, fertile their soil is. Right. And then it will either be a case of if it's good enough, they are going to be a product. Do they use drones at all to fly over to see how the crops are growing? Because I know you can get software. I imagine they do, but there's nothing that we do. Right, okay. Well, lads, I think we're keeping you from your next job, aren't we? Because yeah, I can see you've got urgent to do there. Yeah, no, and I won't breach GDPR, but uh, something urgent's waiting for you. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Thank no, you so much for stopping oh, right, and talking to us. What's your first names? Yeah. Drew. Blair, B-L-A-R. Drew and Blair in the comments. Give them some love, guys. Yeah. <laughs> Take care. Good. And you. Take it steady. Thank you. Oh, they were nice, weren't they? Yeah. So, Drew and Blair. We've literally just arrived. Okay, mate. PJ's gonna move his car, respect of the, uh, the first guy that asked us to move out of the way. We've got a Charles Wright vehicle coming in now. So, uh, yeah. Let's do the intro, shall we? So, welcome back to the channel, guys. Today, we're here at British Sugar. Welcome to Whistington Sugar Factory. Now that sign is pointing upwards. So is that made for drones? <laughs> yeah, it looks quite a big plant. Look at that, down there. And as you would have just seen by those two clips, we've already been spoken to as soon as we arrived. That's what happens when you mention your next location on a previous video. Hello, Eins. <laughs> so yeah, today we're out with um, AJ Audits. We've got PJ Audits, he's just moving his car up there. And we was with Reggie Photo, but uh, he's decided not to participate in this one. So, all visitors report to reception. And there are some site rules. Safety helmets, eye protection, eye veers, footwear, no person under 16, no smoking. But it is warning vehicles that pedestrians are around. And HGV drivers. If you've got a driver's card, it's a tick. But if you've not got a driver's card, eh, eh. And look how good site security is, eh? Look at that. Open lock. Comes off lock. There it is. So we'll put it back where we found it. I know, mate. So that you don't see me, because if you see what I look like, we might have to have like a civil ceremony because you'll fall in love with me. Do you want to see it? Yeah. Are you sure you're ready for it? Yeah. I don't think you're ready for this. Yeah. No, anyway, what makes you... Do you want me to show you? Yeah, and I like how you're interested. You're a bit like me. Just tell me why you're Just stay there a moment. He's very interested in what we're doing. Hopefully he stays. I want to make your site secure. So when I see something like that, yeah. there's your number, look. Yeah. When I see why, something why, like... Why do you want it secured? Oh, because I just want British sugar to be as secure as it can be. Oh, why? Well, don't you? Why? Why do you? Do, don't we share the same ambition? Please don't go. Please don't go. Don't go. Don't go away. If that's the word, I don't know. Anyway, let's put this lock back. We just wanted to show him there. Oh, it's his combination, look. Right then, let's get back to business. So we've got PJ back with us now, and it's time to inquire about this tour. Because I would love a tour of this place. Let's go. I'm afraid you've come onto the property now, so. Oh, you're the same I'm, guy? I'm the same guy. Oh, do you know that after you went, yeah, yeah. the soil lads said, he would recommend that we do report to your reception and we announce our presence and just leave it to reception. You, you don't need to do that. You don't need to we're do we're that. just following advice, that's yeah, all. Yeah, no, you don't need, don't need to do that. Are you more senior than them? Because um, then that, that would, pr I've that, got, I've that got would trump. I've got a different role than them, let's put it that way. Would you say that you trump them though, what they've told us? Um, I have a more senior role. Okay, in that case, yeah, there you go. It makes right. sense. Yeah, but all I'm PJ. Doing is just explaining at the moment how they, they blow off into the silos. Yeah. That's all we're doing. 
Would you allow us just two minutes just to listen to what PJ is telling us for the video about how they blow off? And yeah, if you, yeah. We'll stand here with you if you don't mind. That would be great. No, 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 that's fine. Yeah. So what happens then is um, the vehicle that tows this has either got a donkey engine, uh, which builds up the air pressure. Yeah. Some of them have uh, uh, some sites where you go to. They've got compressors and you use their air. Okay. Um, but you need a constant pressure going into the tank. Now, if, if you look down the other side, now if you look down the side of that one there, yeah. we've got the silver containers that go down. We'll just move as far to the side as we can. So we can we've got silver containers that run down the side. Now inside there, there's flexible big four pipes. Yeah. That connect everything. So it connects one to the tank, which is some very great controls there, look. And they have some controls in the back as well. So it's got one pipe that goes and blows air pressure in. Yeah. And then another pipe that connects to the back of the vehicle, to the silo, which I know that one's probably water. But uh, so these silos here, look, they've got pipes going upside. The one that are concrete lined on the outside? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, they've got pipes going up the outside. So the pressure in there blows them into the pipe and then there's like a vacuum inside there that sucks as well. So would you agree with that chap? So it's got pressure from the actual tanker and a suction vacuum in the tank, in the silo. Yeah, all silos can be different, can't they? Yeah. Like you yeah. just describe different yeah. methods for getting them in different ways. Yeah, but the, the main thing is, is you've got constant pressure in there, you've got little plates that vibrate that break everything up, like aerate everything yeah, yeah, yeah. inside the tank and then it goes up through the pipes into the silo. Now, if they're really, really big silos, they need to be, it needs to be sucked. But if they're low silos, you can get away with just blowing air pressure through. And they enter the silo from the top, and always? They enter the silo from the top and they fill from the top. Now, there are other types of tanks that don't lift up in the air. Now, they have, like, three chutes, one, two, three, one in the middle, one at the front, one at the back. Bellies. Belly tanks. Right. Now they don't lift up into the air. They're all connected underneath, but they operate in a similar kind of way. You build the air pressure up inside, and the belly tanks, the walls, are very, very steep. Right. And at the bottom of each belly tank, you've got plates that vibrate. So the air pressure builds up, the plates vibrate due to air pressure, and then everything works exactly the same after that. So still a vacuum on the other side, pressure on this side, yeah. vibrations, but you ain't got gravity to help you. That's right. Got you. And that's where I say I'm blowing off. Or okay. they're blowing off. I don't mean the green. I'm blowing so off. So would I the mean, ones that tilt not be blowing off then? You want, the ones that tilt would not be classed as blowing off? Uh, when that's lifted up in the air, yeah, it's actually blowing So off. still blowing off, it's right? It's blowing off yeah. no matter which way they do it. Right, okay. So why do they make two types? Surely one's better than the other. Not necessarily. It depends on the product. Some in this case, both sugar, innit? work very well with belly tanks. Sugar comes in as sugar beet, which is a, a bit like... Um, turnip. A big turnip. Yeah, a bit like turnips, a bit like <laughs> big white carrots, a bit like parsnips, that kind A big of white thing. carrot, I like that one, yeah. yeah. <laughs> I'll go uh, with that. Yeah, they, they're like... Uh, and then they process. Don't ask me how they process it, because I don't know. But they process and made into sugar. And then from there... It either goes out into it depends on where they are. The bags that you get in your supermarket, the great big bags that yeah. wholesalers get, or they get loaded onto the back of a vehicle. Do you know how you say she didn't know how it turns from beet to sugar? Yeah. I think somebody here might just be able to tell us that one last thing before we. Uh, it's a long chemical process. Which we, yeah, we probably haven't got time to go through right just now. Just like a really quick version. We would so appreciate it. <laughs> yeah. I mean, it's not like sugar beet. Sugar beet is like a syrup as it comes out the cane. Out the sugar cane. God, tell us. If you get, and this isn't a follow If you go on our website... Oh, we would love to hear it. Just it a short version. Really, seriously, it is really informative. But and it'll go through all the products we do, all the co-products. And which we do a lot of here at Wisdom. We're all about interaction with humans. Yeah, and we, we, we try to steer away from websites please just yeah your 30 seconds no, no, summary no, no. i'm not going to go through it this time what about yourself right. I, I think we can give 20 seconds on. yes thank you thank you <laughs> 20 seconds thank on. you we slice it up okay we put it in um essentially a large rotating drum 
Okay. Um, add water. That boils the sugar juice out of it. All and right. You just carry on boiling the, the sugar juice on, on a. It's on a large scale. So it's clear. like it's, it's, you have to distill it to get the sugar out. Of it. It's. It's like yeah, a lot like shorter it. term than distilling. It's, it's yeah. faster than that. But yeah, it's kind of it's, it's water. Yeah. Slice the beet up. Put warm water in there. Make it into like evaporate a, a and milk. make it thicker. Yeah. Yeah. So. Yeah. Yeah, so what was your? It's constantly being stirred and heated. Yeah, it's, it's been it's been moved around quite a lot. That's yeah. that's all there is to it. That is Not brilliant. Underselling what we do. No, that's brilliant. Cool. But, and we um, crystallise it. Have yeah. a large centrifuge to yeah. separate the rest of the syrup from the from the white sugar. So he does know. I'm well, to he, he it started now. so I'll finish. And does the syrup also get used as well? Yeah, yeah. It's um, we're a very sustainable plant, is what I would say. We yeah. we we try to go on a zero waste sort of. Oh, well, I sort imagine of. that the stuff that's left over can be used for such as fertilizer and things like that, can't it? Yeah, there's a number of different products that come out the back end here, which I use for all sorts of things. Right. Um, but yeah, animal feeds. We do animal, animal feeds. feeds we, yes. Yeah, we do. We do a lot. It's a well, as you when you get your drone up there, you'll see it's yeah. a big, big, highly complex plant. Will we see any solar panels? Um, That's my I thing, yeah. don't That's think we problem. do have any solar panels. Wind turbines? Um, no, we don't have any wind turbines. Some green um, so you're good on the back end, but it's just where you get your energy from in the first place you need to improve. Yeah, um, so we do have some of our other sugar factories, Cantley Sugar Factory, they have yeah. um, lots of uh, um, solar great. panels. It's great. It's great, isn't it? It's the way forward. Do you agree? I do agree. Yeah. 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 Can you use yeah. the sugar to produce power for yourself? Um, yes, we can. Yeah, anaerobic digesters and that sort of thing. Mm. Yeah. yeah. And do ya? Is it? Yeah, we've got a big anaerobic digester plant at Burris St. and Edmunds plant. So. Yeah. Brilliant. Yeah. So that produces power to run the plant. Runs well. natural gas. Yeah. So can, yeah. Being self sufficient is the way forward, I think, yeah. nowadays, because yeah. <laughs> costs are just spiral, aren't they? Yeah. Yep, and we're looking at how we become more efficient all the time yeah. on, a, on a grand scale. Well, we've got to that. Yeah, I know a couple of plants make biofuel as well. Yeah, we do. Yeah. yeah. Sugar yeah, we do. Yeah, yeah, we do that here. Yeah, we do that here. Yeah, if it's more beneficial for you, cost-wise, to use your product to make your energy, then why not? It's about getting the most out of energy you use, isn't it? Yeah. yeah. The, the thing is, not taking anything away. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. And I think you would agree. You have no waste. Is that right? We have minimal waste. Yeah, yeah just the general minimal. packaging and stuff. Yeah, minimal waste. Yeah. And we're quite proud of it. Yeah. Yeah. Well, I do yeah. zoom quite in on the too. skips. So wherever your, your skips are, I'll zoom in and see if you're splitting out your waste and yep, stuff like that. Yeah, we do that. You won't be disappointed. You'll see wood in the wood skip, you'll see metal in the metal skip. Quick! Lads, quick! Go <laughs> sort it! <laughs> Let's just hope they're covered today. Yeah. <laughs> so as you can tell, guys, we're genuinely genuinely interested. We're not going to push our luck. Yeah. The, the previous guy said there was a possibility of a tour. Now you've come along and told us you're more senior. We will respect you. Thank you we'll have an, a perimeter tour from the public footpath. Yeah. yeah. And thank you so much for your time. My pleasure. Yeah, um, you. We'll probably... Just keep some eyes on you and make sure you're in safe places, um, if you don't mind that. Is that okay? No, I don't know what you're doing. We might feel self-conscious <laughs> that we're being watched. <laughs> no, we won't be really being videoed anymore. We, <laughs> we won't be we getting our drone up. You can't me. So if you want to watch this video, PJ audits, AJ audits and DJ audits. On that note, we'll nice let you get meet, back to nice work. Nice to meet you all. Yeah. You're right, mate. Yes. You want to be famous? <laughs> he's, already, he's already famous. Yeah. Famous or infamous? You're already the employee of the month, it looks like. Great work there. Brilliant. Oh, yeah, guys. The, the, the gate where PJ's parked his vehicle, the padlock is unlocked. Okay, thank you for that. Thank you. Okay, thank you. so... I didn't see that. Spotted I, I spotted it. I appreciate that. And I've left it exactly how I found it. Much. So over to you that. on that one. Cheers, guys. Go well, on. thank you so much. And I can see your name, but I won't say it. <laughs> oh, yeah, you're going to blur it out. We won't blur it, but we've not we'll voted. <laughs> so while PJ says his final goodbyes, I'm going to make my way out. But yeah, what a pleasant chat with them two guys, eh? And they took their time out. 30 second uh, summary of what they do, but it makes sense. Put it in a big drum. Water, syrup, evaporate. You're left with the sugar, aren't you? perfect right let's carry on around the outside and see what else interesting we can find because so far i think this place is brilliant and you know we're always looking for security weaknesses I, as i always say and on this occasion we've noticed a padlock yeah it might not be the the most major thing in the world but at night you never know who could possibly use that uh, that gate that shouldn't be using the gate 
So they're now coming up to uh, to check it. Thanks, yeah, no problem. Yeah, it looks like we've got a faulty lock. So okay, I well, that. at least you know about it now. There you go, they've acknowledged a faulty lock and they're going to put it in for repair. Brilliant. Thumbs up from... I bet they don't repair the lock. I bet they just put a new lock in. Yeah. We'll try and, we always try and repair. Try and Sustainable, remember? Oh, sorry, yeah. Do you know the new and bridge? if you can't, make sure it goes in with the scrap metal. So, PJ's just showing us how high his extension pole is for his 360 camera. And, oh my God, look at that! How high is that? Well, the pole is actually uh, three metres. Three metres high. Yeah. And then whatever I'm holding it at. Plus another, another metre on your arm. Another, another couple of metres. <laughs> Let me just get a full shot of that. Just so you can get a grand scale of the thing. Look at that! <laughs> and that's it. Yeah, and just so people know that it's got a camera on both sides. It's a dome. It's the Insta360 ONE X. And when you do put it into your editing software, you can actually move it around like you do with a 360 photo and decide which angle you want to use for your video. Absolutely brilliant. In fact, if you look at tonight's video, you'll see that I'm talking to somebody uh, and I'm recording myself at the same time. Yeah, and what's that titled? Just... Uh, I can't remember. Oh, uh, yes. Um... I've got a drone license, you can't fly your drone on here. There you go, if you want to see that video, that's the title. If I'm having a conversation with somebody, I want them to see both sides of the conversation. I want them to see my face. Yeah. Ta-da! <laughs> and their face as well. This British Sugar is an AB sugar company. There you go, AB. This is your sugar company, my friend. <laughs> so we're coming up to the entrance where the beat traffic only go. And here we come to the beat deliveries gate. So AJ reckons it's the waste product in these bags and that it's pumped in from the other side and it just keeps on expanding this end. So you'd see the, the bag to the left has expanded more than the one on the right. So it's definitely something to zoom in on with the drone to see how it's been filled on the other end. Never seen that before, very interesting. Very, very well done. Yeah, I was thinking that. I'd like yeah. to see the other end of these. Yeah, I want to get some video of this side of the factory. The only problem I've got is there seem to be a lot of crows around. That'll be alright. You've got your Mini 3 coming in a few days, don't worry about it. Yeah, I don't want to lose my Mini 2 though. <laughs> So yeah, I think I'm just going to stick the drone up. Just do a quick video. I'll scare the crows off with mine and right. I'll clear the path for you. There's well, a deal. AJ can scare them off. <laughs> just pull faces, AJ, and it'll, it'll keep them away, mate. Right, uh, let's, get yeah. the let's get the drone up. Let's get the drone up and see what uh, this end of British sugar looks like from this entrance. Right then. I've checked on drone assist. There's no flight restrictions in this area. The nearest restriction is Dareham, I think it says. So let's see what the beat delivery entrance looks like from above. We've got our friend there from what we presume is security. Just making sure we don't walk on. It is rather, rather noisy on this uh, road. So we won't stay too long. Well, let's have a look at the end of these waste bags. See what they look like. So they're not pumped from the other side. They're actually pretty much the same. I'm more of a sealed from this side, yeah. So I would say they get loaded from that end. But there is like a kink in the uh, the bag here. Is that where one ends and another one starts? I don't know. Interesting though. So, we are down there at the gate, at the road. And when we spoke to the two gentlemen earlier, that was just over, over there. 
and we were stood looking at those tankers at that entrance there. So we didn't actually make it down to the gatehouse, which was there. And then I presume a reception is further on maybe. But yeah, we didn't make it, did we? So the full scale of the place, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven silos there, look. Lots of what I presume are conveyors moving the sugar around. The two long snakes. <laughs> and is that the same over there? Some more of those large bags. I bet they've got a technical term. And just masses and masses of plant. Silos, maybe for the syrup, where it's all, or the process is carried out. Shall we see if we can get some uh, technical information on what we can see? My oh, sorry. It's animal feed. Oh, my friend, do you know how this? Do you know how this, um, these little silos here, I presume they're where you, you're spinning it around, mixing it with the water, and it's heated in those. Would I be right? Yeah, roughly, yeah. I, mean, yeah. I don't want to give away all the secrets. You might be starting your own sugar bowl yeah. and make them better. <laughs> and, and would this be like for the wastewater where it cools down? Um, yes. Yeah. Y yeah. yeah, essentially we, we, we cool and reuse the water and we treat all the water. Um, before it's uh, discharged from site, yeah. Yeah, and th this is just more to help the uh, the process along with a boiler, maybe. Oh. With a, uh, no, no, there's no no boiler in that in that bit. No. Right. You you, you are. You're going to build a you're going to build a sugar bowl. <laughs> it's, it's all visible. On. It's all visible on Google Maps. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. It, is. It's just rather than me saying the finished product is in these, obviously. Yeah. yeah you got seven, haven't you? Why don't you go for eight? <laughs> It's um, probably seven was as many as we needed at the time. It would be quite expensive to build a, uh, a silos. Because it was doing my editing because it wasn't symmetrical. So one of them is, is a newer one and it is slightly bigger than the others. So yeah, for uh, anybody who likes symmetry, uh, I can imagine that was frustrating for you. <laughs> and AJ's just told us what was in these. What did you say was in them? Animal feed. Animal feed. Is yeah. it a byproduct? Yeah. It, well, it, it's um, again, it's about reusing um, a product that would be um, would be waste. We don't waste anything. It's great to see. And is that the same on the field over there as well? Yeah. yeah. So, are they filled from this end where we're standing? Uh, do you know what? I don't know. Because I was wondering. Because I don't know. They get they get filled slowly. I believe. I didn't see the process. Because on this side, it looks like it's sealed, so it would yeah. be filled through the the open end. But it's interesting how it's really pushed back with some force. Yeah, it's it's pushed in. With um, what? With, with a. a, a Oh, right, okay. pushes it in and then it, it, it gets filled up and it just um, it gets sealed and stays there and then we um, we continue to, to dry it and turn it back into um, animal feed. Right. And would I be correct in assuming inside these are conveyor belts? These links? What look like to be tunnels? Linking see. linking from one building to the other. I can't see on that. Like that tunnel there for the links between one building and the other. They're doing some aren't they? Oh yeah, sorry, I see you there. Yeah, you, that's how you can you can move products around, yeah. So just yeah, product, not yeah. not for pedestrians, just for product. Yeah. On a conveyor belt or is it vacuum? I'm not sure on those ones. Right. But yeah, this is that's over to our and um, that's the finished product. Yeah, yeah it's just it's just above here. Yeah. So finished product moving around on conveyor belts. Yeah, essentially. Would it be conveyor belts with large sides? Or it's not a flat conveyor belt, is it? Um, similar. Yeah. S so sides? Um, what, sides on them? Yeah. No, not, not really. All no. oh, right, okay. No, so there's not much depth to the sugar as it moves around then? No. Right. No, not particularly. Sorry, I'm just going to get this. Yeah, yeah, thank you for what you've said. It's been very helpful. <laughs> so, yeah. I mean, that was probably the first time I've ever had somebody give us their take on what the drone can see. So 
once again, British sugar. <laughs> Five stars from me. So yeah, for in the distance over there is the greenhouses. So we do need to get a little bit closer before we cover that. So, and more of these uh, pools. So I'm gonna bring David back in and then I'm gonna find a better location to get over the greenhouses so we can see those cannabis plants. So let's get David back. Coming up down this road. Now, have you just delivered? Have you collected? What have you collected? Some what? Muck. Clean. Clean muck. <laughs> what they do? They get old, old muck, clean it all up, and then sell it. So where? What would it be used for? Muck. Oh, so it's topsoil basically. You've collected topsoil. Good quality. Right, okay. Nice one, mate. Thank you. We're just doing a, 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 like a mini documentary about British sugar. And we've noticed the soil element. We've noticed the f animal feed as well in the bags. And the cannabis as well. Do you get ever get near the cannabis? In the greenhouses, don't you know? Yeah, they've grown cannabis here. Really, you don't know that they did that? Have you noticed the greenhouse is just over the way? When you get home tonight, look on Google Maps at where you've just collected from. You'll see a mass load of greenhouses. And if you want to see the drone go over, then you look for us on YouTube. A few days time, PJ audits and DJ audits. We're taking the drone over now to finish our documentary. Have a good day, mate. Thanks for chatting to us. Rory J Holbrook with a lorry load of muck. Clean muck, <laughs> AKA topsoil. I don't think our drone will bother him, do you? Nah, that's far too high for, for our little drones, but I can't quite, no, this little screen will not let me pinpoint where that is. <laughs> the pocket too with a tiny screen. Who'd have one, eh? So here we are on another entrance. The topsoil entrance, and it does say private road, so we're not walking up it. We're just standing on a little grass bank here, and it's over in that direction. So let's get David up and find the cannabis greenhouses. Right then, let's go and find these cannabis greenhouses, eh? It's a little bit windy, but that won't stop us, will it? Uh, not got a wind. No wind warning so far. Let's get right over. They've positioned these greenhouses a fair distance away from the public highway. You know, they want to keep all this private, don't they? But look at all that. Wow. Oh, let's see if we can zoom in and see what's inside then. Can we make out what the product is? I think you can. I think you can just see some stems and some leaves. Photosynthesis is well underway. Let's just get a little bit further back here so the, the sun is in the direction to help us see inside. It looks like it's more full. So compared to those rows at the back lot, which look a little bit empty in the far top right corner, these ones look like they've grown a little bit better down here. 
and it looks like as you get further down, oh, they look a bit bare there, look. So they almost be in different stages of growth. So when I am back on the bigger screen, I'll be able to see if that really was cannabis. We have a, a vehicle that's just gone by pathing us. Possible viewer. But look at all that for a greenhouse, eh? For the growth of cannabis. Maximum flight altitude reached. For medical purposes, they say. That is amazing. All that, guys. And around the surrounding areas, lots of these little pools. Lots of farming. Is that for pigs? Let's just see. Yeah, it looks like pigs <laughs> in that field. That's where we were a short while ago, filming the actual plant. And that conveyor belt is leading over into that field there. So he had a phone call whilst he was telling us all about it. So we had to go. <laughs> you know, saved by the phone, not saved by the bell. And then we've got some offices down there, look. That must be related to the cannabis operation. And next door, we have the soil operation, I believe. And that's about it. So let's get David back and wrap this one up. So as we've seen, British sugar here in Wissenden, near Kings Lynn. Not many people know about the cannabis greenhouse there, but it does say it's been in operation since 2016 for um, medical purposes. And it's just got this sign here outside. So we have been here today with AJ Audits and obviously PJ Audits, you all know PJ Audits. <laughs> AJ Audits is gonna say uh, a quick hello. Hello everyone. Um, how many subscribers have you got at the moment, AJ? I think it was 317 last time I checked. 317, so if you do want to see AJ's version of what happened today, then do go over and check his channel out. The link will be down in the description below. But that's it guys. Thank you so much for watching. That was British Sugar here in Wissenden. A couple of drone flights. We'll have to get on the big screen to see what that cannabis was like inside them greenhouses. But yeah, it's a massive long road and they're trying to hide it out of the way. So if you have enjoyed that video, give it a thumbs up for me and I'll see you on the next one. Bye bye for now. We're leaving, we'll see ya. We did actually, yeah. It was a bit windy and it looks like certain parts of the greenhouse are empty in different stages of growth really, isn't it? But my colleagues are just about to turn their cameras on now. <laughs> Why don't you? Yeah, and good to see your face. Yeah, because we've shown mutual respect, we've just stayed out, guys. So hopefully the next people that do come to video your place are as respectful as us. Thanks for reporting the broken lock. We've, yeah. we've fixed that. Yeah, brilliant. Appreciate that. Yeah. You guys could have, uh, could have slipped down in, but sorry, thank you very much. Yeah. Yeah. Cup of coffee time, I think. Yeah. Right, it's a pleasure meeting you guys. Thanks for how you've been. Have a good Thank day, you, mate. Take care. And that's it. What a pleasant end to a pleasant visit to a pleasant British sugar factory. Do you want me good side? Yeah. Do you want me bad side? Oh dear. Do you want me back side? No, thank you. <laughs> Bye, guys. See you later. <laughs>